Hey Ryan, I've got Dennis with me and we're recording. Cool. <laughs> but he says, if you're not educating them, somebody else is. Totally right. Dude, yeah. we spend so much time on winning the business. Yeah. You know, put so much effort into, you know, getting that listing. But people aren't actually looking after the clients after the fact. You know, you think that they're happy because, you know, you've just put a tenant There's in no there. There's no problem there. Yeah, yeah, yeah or yeah. you've taken over from a, a where it was a self-managed owner yep. or if it was um, listed with a bad company and now they're listed with you, you think they're happy. And they are, right? Because yeah, they've got your business. but That's right. But you should still be educating them over a 12-month period, 18-month period, and so on, yeah. and, and working with them. It's not a no-reason call, yeah. but it's not a call on maintenance, tenants. Um, You're not asking for behind. money, a problem. Yeah, yeah okay. so call them up. Give them some love. Tell them the wins that you've had, whether you've just been nominated for an award or yeah. whether you've just been... Um, Which reassures them that they're in the right place. That spot on. the right people for looking after your business. You've got to educate them why they listed with you. Remind them because, so, yeah. because the other agencies are calling them offering cheaper fees. Yeah. And, and you want to take that out of the equation. And that's all about building relationships with your current clients. Great tip. Cheers.